In this video, I'll show you how to load and save data in Radian. So suppose that we're interested in doing an analysis where we're comparing means uh, between two groups. Now if you click on the help file icon on the bottom left here, you'll see that there's an example uh, that I discuss uh, that talks about professor salaries um, and differences across genders and departments and so on. Now suppose I want to be able to recreate that analysis. Right? And so I would need the salary data. So where is that, where is that data set? So if you look on the page, uh, it'll say analysis requires certain types of type of information. And if you want the example data set, go to data manage, select examples, load data of type, and then choose the salary data set. All right, so let's do that. Data, load data of type, examples, and load examples. All right, so now we're going to be looking for the salary. There we go. There's the salary data set. So this is a drop down, but I can also uh, type the first few letters of the data set and it'll pop up. All right, so then I can go back to compare means. And let's say I wanted to see if uh, salaries are different across gender. I can choose salary here and here's my analysis. And I can see if I'm getting the same results that we saw in the example in the help file. All right. So now suppose you want to load your own data. How would you do that? Well, there's a, there's a couple different ways, and I'll, I'll show you some examples. So I've got some data here in different formats. And I'll show you how to get those into Radiant and save them back out of Radiant. All right, so the most common type of data format that you'll be using is RDA, an extension RDA, which is an R data format. By the way, RDS is another type of R data format, but RDA is probably the most common one. And so um, these are binary files that are compressed and uh, contain, contain information that R can use and read quickly and efficiently. So let's say we want to choose an RDA file. So let's say about house, house prices. How would I do that? Well, I select data, load data of type RDA, and I will navigate to where that file is, double click, and there is the house price information. But suppose I have my data in Excel format. How do I get that into Radiant? Okay. So one thing I can, of course, do is save the data as a comma-separated file. Right, so I'm going to scroll down here, Windows comma-separated file. I can save that, save the Excel file is a comma separated file, and then go ahead and load that into Radiant by selecting CSV. Let's do that. Um, you'll see you can you can specify if you want if the data has a header, um, uh, if it's comma separated or semicolon separated, uh, if decimals are indicated by a period or a comma, and so on. Usually the defaults will work fine. I'm actually going to choose another data set than, than house prices. I'm going to choose this one, sales.csv. I'm going to open that up. All right, and so there's my data. Now, you might have noticed when I opened up the house prices data set, there was some nice information about the data set, right? a little description, some information about the variables. And this is really useful because if you haven't looked at a particular data set for a while, you'll completely forget what, what the different variables are and how they're defined and so on. So if you're using our data format, then you can actually create descriptions of the data. So it doesn't do this automatically, unfortunately. You have to type this in. But if you know the data set, then you're obviously the best person to provide that information. So you click Add Edit Data Description. You type in the information you want. And then click Update Data Description, and then save it. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. However, from loading a format from somewhere else, let's say the sales data set I loaded from CSV, there's no way for CSV to kind of keep, give you that type of information about the data set. So hopefully you have some documentation about that data somewhere else right, that you can then add using add edit description. All right. Now suppose that's too much hassle because then I've got to open up the Excel file, save it to a CSV, and then load it into Radiant. Uh, can I do something more, uh, more, more quickly? 
The answer is yes. I can actually just select the data that I want, copy it using Control C if you're on Windows or Command C if you're on a Mac. Then I'm going to go to Clipboard and hit Paste. And there's the data directly from Excel into, um, into Radiant. Now you notice that it gives it this not very useful name, which is copy and paste. Right? All you provided is data, you didn't give it a name. So what we'll probably want to do is rename that. We're going to call that house prices. All right, and hit rename, and there we go. And you'll notice that there's no data description here. We'll have to provide that on our own. Okay, now, um, another thing that you'll likely want to do is save the data. So how do I do that? Very similarly, I choose the type of format that I want. So usually I'll, I'll choose an, an R data format, so RDA or, or maybe RDS, but most likely RDA, and just click Save and tell the browser where you want it to go. Right? I can also save it to a CSV in case I want it in that format. But what if I want, let's say, that sales data set that I had earlier, Suppose I want to take that to Excel for some reason. Well, I could go ahead and save it as a CSV and then open that up into Excel. But I can actually also use the clipboard for that here. So I'm going to do copy data. I'm going to go back to Excel and hit paste. And there we go. I could do this with any of the data sets loaded. Uh, suppose I wanted that salary data set in Excel for some reason. There we go. Clipboard, copy data, and there it is. All right. Another type of file that you'll be loading and saving is a state file. So a state file is a, a file that has information about all the settings, reports, plots, and so on that you've been working on inside Radio. So how do you save the state? Just click on the floppy disk icon and hit save state and save it where you want. And um, how, do I, how do I load that back in? Well, one thing to keep in mind is as soon as I load a previous state file, what I'm working on now will be removed, right? The only way it can recreate exactly the settings and everything that you were working on previously is to clean out what you, were, what you have now. So the best way to do this is to click on the power icon and click new session. Right? So all my settings here are maintained. I'm now just in a clean new setting. And I'm going to load a state file into that. This is the one that I worked on previously. And as soon as I open that, it'll go back to the tab that I was in before, which was visualize as a plot. There's a filter, there's some settings, I added some color and so on. Right? All of that has been restored. Right? So this might be an assignment that I worked on previously or some report I can learn uh, how I did did things previously, whatever it may be, and then I can just go back to the session that I was working on. And when I'm done with that, I'll go back ahead and save the state so that I have a, a trail of exactly what I did. Or if I want to work with somebody else, then I can save the state, send it to them, they can load it into Radiant and continue working from there. Okay, I hope that gives you an idea of how to load and save information from and to Radiant.